Hey folks, it's Jang here from UltimateRC.com with a look at the 1 8 scale Iron Track Zeej. This is about $350 ready to run from NitroRCX.com and they also have a receiver ready version for $290. The truck is made by Himoto in their Mega E8 series and you'll also find it uh, sold under different brand names around the world. And you'll find this exact same platform used for at least four different vehicles. This one here is the Truggy, they also have a buggy, a short course truck and a low slung monster truck. Most core components are shared between all versions but they do differ in overall dimensions. Also the Truggy and monster truck versions in particular have no center differential. They just have a slipper clutch here instead. Also specific to the Truggy and monster truck is this 36 by 74 millimeter 2075 kV motor. The buggy and short course truck use a shorter can. Common to all four models is this sensorless only 80 amp ESC from Hobbywing. The steering servo is rated at 124 ounce inches of torque and I don't have a rating for the speed but it is pretty decent. The suspension features big bore shocks with plastic threaded bodies and aluminum caps top and bottom. Unfortunately these were not properly filled from the factory so I had to top these off with some 40 weight shock oil. Felt about the same as stock. The front suspension arms are reversible left to right but they don't have different options for mounting your shocks. The shock tower on the other hand does give you four holes for changing your progressiveness and they also give you four holes for changing your roll center. Sway bars are included front and rear as are adjustable steel turnbuckles. Notice the truck uses hex hardware all the way around and suspension pins are captured. The overall story is similar at the rear but here you have even more options for camber link mounts including three different options for camber link length to change your camber gain. The wheels use standard 17 millimeter hubs though there is an extra amount of offset here which is no longer the current standard. The tread pattern on the tires is absolutely fantastic and should work well across many different types of terrain. However, the rubber compound is terrible, very, very hard, while the foam inserts are actually too soft. I bought the receiver ready, almost ready to run version, but if you get the RTR, this is the radio that they come with. It's very basic on features with trims reversing and dual rates for both channels. Thankfully it is a 2.4 GHz system and it only uses 4 AA's. This unusually lightweight truck actually doesn't use the standard 4S battery setup of most 1 8 scales. Instead it's set up to run on 3S and if you get the RTR they include a 3S LiPo. On a 3S Gen Zace battery I was able to top out at about 33 miles per hour on flat ground. With its very low center of gravity and wide track the truck is very stable and very smooth over bumps. But traction was a little bit lacking from those fairly hard tires. Fortunately they are large enough and they do have a good enough tread pattern that you're able to just drift through turns instead. Which keeps the overall driving experience very fun. Now since this is a racing style 1 8 scale truggy what better place to test it out than a 1 8 scale racing track. That suspension that worked out pretty nicely on fairly flat ground also worked great over jumps. The truck flies beautifully and it's very controllable in the air. Even more importantly the landings are very soft and it immediately composes itself. Once again the biggest issue was the lack of traction from the stock tires but with no center diff you have a very reliable and consistent transition from off to mid throttle understeer to hard throttle oversteer. Again the net result is that the fastest way to take a turn is to just drift it. Oh do watch out for motor heat. This topped out at 190 degrees Fahrenheit on the can at the end of the run. It could use a heat sink or a smaller pinion. Hey guess what it's time for. Wait, I'm supposed to start the music first. Yeah, that broke. Here's the thing though, I was warned about exactly this happening by other folks on the URC forums who have gotten the Himoto Mega E8 series vehicles in the past. They've said that the hubs will break, that they're just not beefy enough and they're made of a material that's too brittle. Ouch, that is some sharp stuff right there. Well they were right, 
you need to get the aluminum upgrades in order to stop this from happening on these vehicles. And then they become fairly durable, actually. NitroRCX.com already has the aluminum upgrades for those in stock, so you're covered. The only problem is for the rear hubs plus the front caster blocks plus the front steering knuckles, that's going to add about 90 bucks to your order shipped. And that doesn't include the body posts. I broke my front body posts clear off in the first couple minutes of driving this thing. I also ended up breaking a wheel. It's still drivable, but it is broken nonetheless. And these tires just aren't going to cut it for very long. So when you start adding things up, 90 bucks, about 100 bucks, including the body posts, you might need to do something custom for the Truggy version. They do have the aluminum ones for other versions of the vehicles that are made on the same platform, but about 100 bucks, you're talking about $450 now RTR, which is above the price of a slash 4x4 if you're looking at the uh, short course version, or it's well above the price of an Afna LX2. E if you're looking at the buggy version. If you're looking at the Truggy versions, well, yeah, it's, this is pretty cheap actually for a Truggy until you start looking at the fact that you really, really need new tires and the motor really isn't right for a Truggy sort of application. If you want to run this like a standard Truggy that's out there today, you need to be able to run it on 4S. You'll need to upgrade to a different motor in addition to getting a different pinion gear, which is absolutely a must for this version. And I'm assuming it would also be a must for the monster truck version of the same platform. All these things really add up in price and they make the value just disappear for this thing. And all in all, I give this thing thumbs down. Sorry, I really, really wanted it to work out well. There are a lot of things about it that are good, but when it comes down to uh, just the value that you get for the money that you spend, you'd be better off sticking to a better known brand that's going to have better parts support, better durability to start with. and. Maybe you have to pay a little bit more up front, but you'll save yourself a lot in the long term. That's not always the case, but with this vehicle, I really think it is. Thumbs down from me. Speaking of thumbs down, if you didn't like this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs down button on the video bar down below. If you did like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Either way helps me out the same and I appreciate it very much. So thanks for watching this review of the Iron Track Zeej and stay tuned for more unbiased RC reviews and also check out the forums at ultimatercom Talk to you again soon.